I was thinking while we were waiting that as I look at this composition, boy, there's not too much interesting going on yet. And I know other tutorials have you making things like a road or a donut or a spaceship, but my goal with this tutorial is to give you the core skills to be able to organize your objects in space in a way that makes you happy. Um, and so it's a little different because we're not aiming at modeling something, we're aiming at learning the basis of moving things around. And I, I don't know, I feel like it, it is less interesting when you think about it that way, but if you realize that this is the beginning of a marathon and not a sprint, I'm trying to give you like the much longer lasting skills than just here, copy me and do this donut. I think that's important. So um, I am going to go just a touch longer because I want to get through both the um, snapping and proportional editing. And that will just kind of round out this little central chunk here. Uh, and then we'll pick up with other stuff next week. So let's go ahead and talk about snapping. And one of the things that we've been seeing here is that we've had objects snap to each other based on the 3D cursor and just moving. And that snap, when it moves from that location and kind of teleports to the next, that's kind of what we're talking about. But snapping shows up up here in that center part. And this is the first of our kind of always on sticky toggles. So this snapping, this little magnet, lets you know that something's happening when it's blue. Now if I save this file, quit it, opened it back up in three weeks, that blue snapping toggled on will stay that way. So you, if something's not working the way you want it to, that is because most likely the snapping is on or the next thing I'm going to talk about, proportional editing is on. So just check up here if those little blue lights are on and things are acting funny, that's why. We're actually going to stay up here for a second. I want to talk about what we can snap to. Snapping is pretty incredible what it does. Um, we are going to specifically together, we'll look at increments and face, and you can kind of explore some of these other ones later. But as I go into some of the options, if I do face project, we'll see that we have other options that then show up down here. Now the way I'm getting to this is I can turn it on or turn it off. I don't have to have it on to be able to change this, but there's a drop down menu right here. And I can switch between different snapping modes. Okay, so we're gonna start with increment first. And I'm gonna go into, with this cube, go into, I or sorry, cone, go into isolation mode. And I'm gonna look down the Y. So I'm just going to look straight at it. Now, the reason why I've gone into this view is we can see this grid back here. Now, this grid, you think it's there to show space, but it's really the increment of the space that it's showing. And so I've got this object at this scale, and I've turned on the incremental snapping. Now, when I hit G, I can only move it up and down and left and right. And that's because I'm looking down the Y which means I can't move it side to side at all in this case, or like forward and backward at all. I can only go up and down and left and right. And you'll notice that it's actually moving along this origin point, or the incremental origin point. Now if I zoom in, I'm gonna zoom in at the top here. Oops. The more I zoom in, I want you to notice that these, this background grid is just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And there's a point where it stops. Now, if I grab this, and it's actually moving it based on the origin. Um, the origin is what's doing the snapping right now, which is like way down here. That's, I've, I really zoomed in, by the way. Uh, I'm going to move that origin quickly to the point. And so I'm going to move my 3D cursor up to selected and then object out. I haven't shown this, but if you right click set origin to 3D cursor, I've now got my origin right there. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to show you how the origin is what's snapping to each one of these increments. So now I can grab this and oops, I actually grab it and you can see that it's snapping to the increments it hasn't actually moved from this spot in X and Y location, sorry, X and uh, Z location. So it'll go from that spot to that spot to that spot, and it'll just move incrementally. 
So that's incremental move. If you have a task that needs precision, you can go into incremental movement. Now, the other thing about this is that the farther out you are, the kind of bigger the grid is, so the larger your incremental movement will be. So if you want precise movement, zoom in. If you want larger, kind of just general incremental movements, you can do that. I've used this when I'm setting things uh, in very specific spaced rows, um, but I don't use it so often, if I'm being honest with you. All right, let's do face project. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my plane. So I've got face project on. I'm going to go ahead and hit G and you see that it's snapped. Well, it's that snapping thing. So what I'm gonna wa have you watch is when I hit G, there's gonna be a little circle that will show up on the nearest face. And so this plane is the nearest face. Now the second I have it over here, it's giving me this face and it's keeping its orientation, it's keeping everything it can, but it's snapping to that face, which is kind of weird, but that's how that's working. Now. It's now exactly set on there. I'm zoomed in, I'm gonna zoom out. Let's look at some of the other options here. Let's say I want it to be at the, um, I want it to affect the rotation as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Now when I hit G and snap it, it should affect the rotation. I think I need one more thing here. Align to, uh, align rotation target. There we are. Now it should go. Yeah, I had the wrong thing. So with that cone, I'm going to go ahead and hit G. And so it's aligning it to the target's rotation. Now, again, there's this axis that this object has, so it might be slightly different than what you were thinking. But that is how it's going to align and snap. So those are the two, the face and the incremental. And with the face project, I'm going to do face nearest. Let's try that to just see what I can get. Face nearest is kind of funny. It's kind of stuck on this plane right now. GC. Yeah, I can't move it. So I've never used the face nearest. I would need to look into that a little bit more. But we've got face project, and I had it align the rotation to the target and mess with rotation. You can turn both of those off, and it'll just get close. And so that's kind of helpful, right? And so now I could uh, move it along that access and make that that cone be perfectly placed on the uh, cylinder. All right, I'm going to give you a minute for this and then we'll talk about proportional editing. Experiment with increments and face project.